Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2018 horror movie, The Cured. A movie that stars Ellen Page and is a movie that I did a trailer reaction for several months ago now and thought the movie looked quite interesting. And for some reason it has now been released under everybody's radar um, and quite surprises me why nobody's really talking about this movie after watching it. Um, and this film is... Uh, very reminiscent in a lot of ways of the 28 Days Later movie, which I'm sure you'll all be aware of, the Danny Boyle film. And this film's set in Ireland, and the, the, the twist that they put in the zombie genre with this movie is an interesting one. Is It's like 28 Days Later, they don't openly talk about zombies. It's some kind of uh, virus that people got that turned them into basically zombies. It, and it's called the maze virus in this movie. And the interesting thing in this movie is they actually found a cure. So there was an outbreak. There was a lot of people getting chomped up by people, by the zombies. Um, and a cure was found. And this film focuses on after the cure has been found and, and the majority of the infected have been cured. And they're now being released back into society. But society, as you can kind of imagine and understand, are very prejudiced towards them because many of them... Um, you know, killed people they knew, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they see them as second-class citizens now. They basically still see them as monsters to a certain degree. And they're really, really segregated from society and made to feel like they are awful, horrible monsters. And this film focuses on that. And there is a young Irish chap who was infected for four years. Um, and he has been cured and released back into the care of Ellen Page's character. Who, he, who was his sister-in-law. Um, and she takes him in. She's got a young son. You know, and she doesn't know there's actually a connection to the death of her husband and um, her brother-in-law. Um, and this film, for the first half of the movie, focuses on how the cured ex-zombies are trying to segregate back into society. Nobody will accept them, the majority. Um and there's one guy who's released with the young Irish chap who who was basically the pack leader when there were zombies um, and there's something just not right with him and he tries to get a movement going um, to try and stand up for their rights as humans and all this kind of stuff and they want to be treated as equally but as in these situations never go well and they start doing it through violence and it all starts going wrong nobody will listen to them they feel like they're not being listened to or taken seriously so the violence escalates um, and eventually as you can imagine that because there's a series of uncured there's 25 percent of the infected that don't respond to the cure who are still being holed up in this military base very nearby so you can imagine how the end of this movie goes um, and it all gets a bit monstrous and chaotic and eaty <laughs> and there you go that's your movie really so it does something quite new and interesting with the zombie um, genre this and I think zombie movies these days have to do something new and interesting because if they don't let's be honest who's going to be interested I'm not I, I, I kind of demand it now in zombie movies and even games you know they have to be a little bit different to get my interest the majority of the time and this certainly does feel original and different and new and fresh. Uh, Ellen Page is wonderful as always. Very, very good performance by her. Everybody gives a good performance in this movie. The main problem I think a lot of people will have with this movie is its pacing. It's pretty slow paced um, and it's lacking in horror elements and shocks. Now, 28 Days Later, which is the, the, its closest companion, I would say, in regards to... You could even argue this could have been named, uh, you know, they just tweaked it, you know, 28 Days Later 3 almost, you know, how they found a cure. Um, it, it's, it's closest relative to me is something like 28 Days Later, but what 28 Days Later got right was it felt fresh and new and original and gritty, um, but the horror elements and the tension and the action we're all top notch and unfortunately that's this movie's horror action and tension are just a level down from something like 28 days later that's not to say that 
they're not effective because they are at times especially the last 20 minutes of this movie um, are pretty tension filled and um, at times pretty horrific but the the pacing leading up to it is more it, it, it leans more into the family drama territory and the only horror elements you get are through flashbacks really they give little flashbacks and I forgot to mention another little thing that they do new in this movie which I thought was very clever is the cured zombies can remember everything they did when they were zombies so imagine living with that horror um, the fact that you know you were a zombie for four years God knows how many people you murdered and, eat and, and, and ate but you can remember everything um, and having to live with that after you're cured that must have been uh, that, that that must be awful so i thought that was a lovely twist and something really fresh um and it it showed you in the movies that and one of the things they say early on when they're being released is one of the questions are asked by the military is do you have nightmares um and they are more worried about the ones that don't have nightmares um, and the ones that do have nightmares it says to them that obviously they're haunted by what they did um, and the ones that don't have nightmares you can guess where they're heading in regards to the story so yeah it is a good movie this i'll give it a seven out of ten it just lacks in the horror um and the tension and the drama there's i don't think there's just enough of it and it, it feels too much like a drama than a horror at times but like i said the last 20 minutes is where it really all kicks off and it gets much more interesting by that point so if you're looking for something a little bit different in regard in regards to a zombie movie and you don't mind the slow pace of this um, this is definitely worth a watch because it's, it's, it's got some really clever ideas going on and there's some top-notch performances throughout so i think this might be of interest to you if you're into this kind of movie so yes give it a go if you like guys and thank you very much for watching